Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And for this video, I am going to address how you can protect your energy. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. And as we start coming into some, oh gosh, more and more turbulent energies, it's going to be more and more imperative to be grounded and yes, to feel protected. All right. So of course I deal with angels. So I would always immediately default to Archangel Michael and people, you know, they, they've heard me say that before, but they're like, no, but, but like how, like, what are we, what are we doing here? So <laughs> one of the things that you can do is self care. I know. Well, let's start with that. If you are taking good care of yourself, you're going to be less susceptible to someone getting one over on you or getting these feeder souls going on. You know what I'm saying? Like attachments just because you're in a state of joy. That's why laughter is important. That's why, you know, tapping into your inner child and going off and just having fun is very important. Now, if you are somebody who is sitting there going, how can we have fun right now? You're in your ego. You've learned nothing. <laughs> okay. We have to just keep our energies steady during these times. Because if you start giving into all of that, you start, and I'm not saying like pretend like it's not there. I'm not saying that. You know, I'm a very passionate person. And I go right to people who are being affected by the things that are being brought up. Okay, I go right there. But I'm talking more about living in the fear, living in the anger, letting the anger drive you, letting the anger give you purpose. Look at how many people are doing that. Their anger, their affiliations, that's who they are. Are you serious? Okay, listen, that's how you define yourself? Limiting. And probably not that interesting, if I may. All right? So don't go defining yourself by your negative emotions. The lower your frequency, the more susceptible you are to people coming and taking advantage of you. To having you get stepped on so that they can get ahead. Or what I like to call feeder souls. You know, attachments. These sorts of things. I have clients come to me. And they will say, I don't know what to do. I try to open up to my spirituality. And as soon as I did, all these bad things started happening. I see ghosts around me now. Uh, and, you know, there are certain things out there that you shouldn't be doing. Okay. <laughs> Halloween's coming. You know what I'm talking about. There's something that ends up being everywhere. And it is no game. It is no game. So there's something that happens here with the human ego consciousness. That instead of tapping into the expanded consciousness, which contains light, which is of the light, they open up and go, okay, let me just like jump into this room. I have no idea what's in here. And they start getting bombarded, right? This world does t tend to get run by those kinds of energies. Whether people are being affected in their daily activities from that kind of energy or you know the other stories around it, okay? So what can you do? Again, the self-care, right? If you keep your energy clean, a clearing is very effective. And you can do that in so many different ways, however you want to do it. But it's through meditation, breathing, and releasing. Okay, we're going to get into shielding here in just a moment. But making sure your energy is clean. Making sure you are in a joyful place. Making sure you're finding something that you can enjoy. Even if you're in you know kind of a low spot or whatever honoring yourself by letting yourself rest okay so that's a big one then there is shielding now you'll hear everybody have their way i think they're all valid awesome uh my personal favorite uh, you know you can imagine the sapphire light of archangel michael there was a time where i saw michael came to me in kind of like a reddish light um but whatever, now it's blue. <laughs> and most people do see Archangel Michael as a blue uh, color, right? So, and they pull on certain ideas and traditions and things like that. And they stick to it and they say, these are the rules and that's it. But listen, okay, so anyway, <laughs> you, can, you can surround yourself in the sapphire blue light of Archangel Michael. You can imagine yourself being surrounded by golden light. My favorite is hematite. Imagining hematite being around me because hematite uh, is reflective. And so it's not just people coming, like if somebody wants to cause me harm, 
they're, they're going to be reflected back and they're going to hopefully see what they're doing. Okay. And you know, hematite's very grounding. So however you want to do that, just imagine yourself being sealed off by some sort of angelic light. I have heard spiritual practitioners say, you can't just lean on light. You can't just do that. You can't just, and these are people who are living in fear. Okay. They're living in fear. They're trying to get everybody else into that fearful place with them. The archangels and the angels, we all have guardian angels. Do we forget that? We have these personal angels that will come in and watch over us if we ask them to. Awareness. This is another big component of this. Learning to recognize when something is not quite right. Now, an angel and an archangel, they can have a big presence. It can feel like someone's going, if you're just somebody who gets scared about everything, right, that's going to scare you. However, an angel is loving. It's divine love. It's um, beautiful focus and like everything, like everything's just the way it's supposed to be. Like you're coming home, right? Like super comforting, peaceful, loving, harmonious, you know, all of that. But let's say you have another entity around you and you're like, I wonder if that's a spirit guide or is that an angel? I don't, I don't know. And you start to feel buzzy but not like like somebody just kind of jolted you with static electricity and eh? nope that's a no oh that's a no i invoke god's light i invoke god's light be gone i rebuke thee <laughs> right? but however you want to say that but you can say no my honestly my quick response is god is with me God is with me. God is with me. Now, some people say, well, God's within you. God's, you know, in your energy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, when we're in a moment, okay, and there's some creepy thing coming around. So when I feel something coming around, because the darkness always wants to be a part of the light. The darkness stays in darkness because they feel like they're not going to be accepted by the light. Think of, uh, I don't know, people kind of unfairly call them lost souls. The only reason why they don't go to the light is because they're afraid of it because they think they're going to be punished in the light. Right? These souls won't go there so if you and they they have to feed they have to feed off of fear a buzzy energy they need their charge and if you get scared then it's a feast for them right god is with me god is with me god is with me or you can say archangel michael help archangel michael come in you know guardian angels help so that will tend to get that back and away but your best defense is not being an attraction point for them. Okay. So work on your light. Yes, you can shield. Clear your energy. Do not mess with things that could potentially bring in darkness. If you come across people who think it's cool to be dark, they're doing the exact same thing. They're going around trying to scare people so that they get a charge. You don't have to give in. Everyone can choose the light if they want it. The light is loving. The, the light is source. We make our choices. All right. Now, if you want some practical little things so we can talk crystals, uh, this is black onyx that I have on here. That's very grounding and protective. Uh, hematite. We were just saying hematite. Tiger's eye. Um, what's the other one? Black tourmaline is very protective. You know, you have those crystals that you can use and carry and whatever, but it's not enough to just take a piece of hematite and put it in your pocket and then go, I'm protected. <laughs> what that is doing, first of all, you need to understand how to be in the flow of your own energy so that you can work properly with the energy of that crystal. Okay. So otherwise it's just a crystal in your pocket, not doing anything. Right. Um, and you also can't become too dependent on the rock. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the rock. You also can't, so we start to get into like superstition right? If you're just keeping it with you, um, the reason why superstition works for or against you isn't because the little object has power. It, it's your belief system going into it and saying it does have power. It's you. It's you doing it. Okay. But you know, crystals do have their own kind of energy, but I almost want to put it this way. Like if you don't talk to them, they're not going to talk to you. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but if you understand that this is energy from the earth, it's a gift from the earth, and you understand what its properties are, what its frequencies are, and you understand where your frequencies are, 
then you can start making that connection and then you can carry it for protection. Okay, so if you have any further questions about that, leave them down below. If I get enough of the same question, I'll make another video. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.